Hello, hello, this is Simone. Today I would like to share the two spreads that I created in my Project Life album using the Scrap Room Shots of Life kits. And um, the designers usually receive one part of the kit every month. So there is a full unboxing video on the Scrap Room um, YouTube channel that I will link for you and you can have a look at what the whole kit complete um, um, is made of. Now I'm missing the word here but what I had in my May portion was one sheet of the Amer American Crafts Chimel Dream Sparkle City. The paper is called Dream Big. It is a cut apart sheet and this is the back side. I received a photo play paper, which I don't think I have right here. Um, I also received the Simple Story Oh Happy Day collection cut apart sheet, which is here. There is some of those right here. And then we also received 28 cards from, Project, from the Project Life click edition and you can see um, some of those cards right here they are very um, graphic very simple black and white grayscales light colors um, i really really liked them and then for embellishments we received the project life click Stickers, which was this sheet right here. We also received a four by six, two four by six simple story sticker sheets. These two. Um, we received enamel stickers that I don't have here right now, and then black twine. I did not use any of the one of the enamel dots or the twine. That's why it's not here. What I made using those hate those papers and the supplies you can see right here this one is mainly using the project life cards this is a project life one this one oh it's only two though um, these two but I also then cut apart a piece of the project life cards I cut apart one of the journaling cards from the dream from the sparkle city and then i used some of the sparkle city cut apart sheets i also brought in this stamp set from maya road my friend susanna bought this at tuesday morning so if you need additional supplies tuesday morning is always a good way place to go and look if you can find essential things like these because they're even cheaper but i think a good alpha stamp set is always a good investment to have because it can always supplement things like these so i stamped the week i tried to keep the colors very similar here i also again cut down my photos and mounted them on white cardstock because i feel like even if the photos aren't the greatest like this one this one some weeks my photos are like not very photogenic but they document my life and my week so i still want to use them somehow to tell about what we did um and by cutting them down and mounting them on the white cardstock, they get a much more sophisticated feel, in my opinion. Um, this was a journaling tag that had actually something written on it or printed on it like, like this or up and at them. And instead of using that because the saying didn't work with my spread, but I really liked the colors and I liked how the pinks were repeated all over. I just used some white cardstock, or actually, I think this was part of one of the journaling cards from um, the Project Life cards and cut it down so that it. I created a journaling spot right here. I used the stamp set multiple times to 
make it more cohesive. I used some of the um, chipboard stickers from the Project Life embellishments and then I also used this girl sleigh and cut one of those um, this is a banner it's actually an arrow it was in one of those cards maybe I can find it for you yeah so these cards are really great if you don't use this side I usually never use horizontal 3x4 cards um, so I just used this and cut this out and had a banner for this card but you could have arrows pointy things like these and um, I really liked those cards. I wanted to use more of those for embellishments. You could cut this out, you could use a punch and circle, cut out this circle if you cannot use it right there. So I really, really appreciated those cards. They were amazing to use. So that was the first spread. The second spread is completely different, but still like it a lot. I really loved the rainbow colors with the black from the uh, Simple Stories cut apart sheet and so I decided to use those here. For some reason, somehow this week I had tons of food related pictures. Actually, in fact, there was only one picture that wasn't food related. So I decided again to cut out parts of the journaling cards from here they had numbers and so I cut them out and placed them all over here and to have look have the cohesive look I decided not to put the flags um, on the same place on each photo because um, the composition of each photo is different and I really liked having the writing go over the photo so I used a white gel pen, jelly roll pen, to journal right on top of the photos. I cut out this piece um, from one of the cards from the cut apart sheet. It was just a three by four journaling card and I really, as I said, I liked the black and this black stripey card was included in the Project Life cards. And I thought, well, this is ideal, let's just use it and repeat the rainbow. I did not have another black journaling card, but I really liked the, I feel like these pinks are very dominant in those um, cards. And so having this pink drink here and also having a drink over here, just, it was the right, decision for me to use this right here. And I really like, I don't know if, if you follow, follow Odessa, she is on Instagram as well, or that's where I follow her mainly. Um, she, I love the way she journals on filler cards. And so I'm always trying to um, take in from that inspiration. And so I just drew some wonky lines and journaled on that filler card. I had a, this really white card that is very contrasting to the black feel. So I decided to add another um, kind of white card on this, this end to balance the spread. And um, there was something underneath, which I don't remember, that didn't go with the photo. And so I just, again, cut out this camera from one of the journaling cards from the Project Life cards and put it over the word and then added my title of the card which says San Francisco Giants Time. I used another one of the Simple Story stickers. Um, I felt that it would go well because it's the same handwriting is, except for those are all um, capital letters. This is a mixture and then I brought in these Teresa Collins stickers. I have had them in my stash for a long time. Um, I don't think you can get those anymore, but you can definitely still get the Tim Holtz stickers. These, uh, again, this is another staple that I really, really like using all the time in my project life. And so, yeah, so I brought those in and my date stamp and called it done. I added 
some more a, a pairing no it's not a pairing because it's a it's three but I really like to create these visual triangles so I added a gold star up here I, I added this gold heart speech bubble down here and I added these two golden tri triangles over here which is kind of subtle but then it also helps you move across the page and I guess even though this isn't a very long video I hope this gave you some ideas and some inspiration um, my, my, my tip would be for you always to uh, look at your journaling cards and your papers and go beyond the uh, suggested use. Go beyond what you see. You see a 3x4 journaling card. Go beyond and see if you maybe cover this up or if you can journal on top of a filler card. Can you cover some words up? Can you cut apart pieces and create new journaling cards? Can you use pieces of journaling cards like here as well as here as embellishments can you create a title card using two cards um, that is my tip for you cover, can you cover up pieces and use um, create a new journaling card for yourself can you again can you create embellishments out of journaling cards that is what I really, really love using the kits for. That's my video for this month. It's kind of a short one. Maybe I will film along my process next time. I don't know if I have time yet. Let's see. It's the end of the school year for my kids and we are all stressed out with the end of baseball season, concerts, open houses, dances and all of those kinds of things. So let's see how my time works for me and if I can get a video and film an actual process. Until then, I will see you soon. Bye!